Alright guys, even here New York Pro is over and you already know who are the winners, but there has been a lot of controversy regarding men's open bodybuilding to 12 and classic physique division. The most apparent, the most obvious one happened to 12 category. Ahmad Ashkanani won the competition and Eduardo Correa took second place. I've already made a whole video about this and if you ask me, he was absolutely robbed. Ashkanani was second at the Mr. Olympia in 2017, he looked really good, and he has a lot of good body parts, but he was watery as hell. Eduardo was way sharper, he was ready, he was dialed in. Ashkanani wasn't, and uh, you can take a look at the videos, it's pretty obvious, especially from the back, and also you can see a noticeable difference in their quads. Eduardo's quads were much bigger. What is the reason for this? That's the question. And many of you commented in my video talking about the money. How Ahmad is from Middle East and that money runs everything and basically that IBB is corrupt. And I don't think that's the case. I don't think so, really. What else could it be then? The fact that Ahmad took second in the 2017 Mr. Olympia? Could that be it? But he didn't win the show. He just placed second. But yeah, Flex Lewis is not here anymore, so he kind of was the best bodybuilder in 2012 in 2017, if you count Flex Lewis out. And I don't think that was the reason either. Could the reason be a change in judging criteria? Many people are actually talking about judges basically shifting their criteria from the blocky, muscular, super-conditioned, glute-peeled bodybuilders to more aesthetic, more structurally, proportionally, and uh, symmetrically, aesthetically pleasing bodybuilders. And uh, that's happening in amateur shows, in professional shows. Phil Heath was dethroned for that reason. They are penalizing stuff like imbalances, one arm bigger than the other, or obvious synthol use, or big stomachs, uncontrollable ones like we saw at the Mr. Olympia the lack of wheat taper, and they are basically awarding physiques with better structure and that are more aesthetically pleasing, that can actually be a little bit more mainstream. So what do you guys think about this? It makes sense to me. Whatever you think, tell me in the comment section below. If you take a look at these two physiques, Eduardo versus Ahmad, you will notice that Eduardo has a lot of thick muscle and he is very, very conditioned. His back is peeled. His glutes are peeled. His conditioning was on point, although his stomach was definitely protruding. It was bloated for sure, unlike Ahmad, whose stomach was in check. Also, Eduardo's arms in some poses seemed a little bit off, asymmetrical, and a bit smaller than his torso. So that's an argument. Maybe that's why Ahmad won, because he had a little bit better flow. He did not have better conditioning, his glutes were not as or more peeled than Eduardo's, but he did have a better flow and he did have a better symmetry, so overall better aesthetics. So if this is true, if judging criteria is shifting, this may be the answer. Why Ahmad won and not Eduardo? Alright, now let's go with classic physique. This was controversial as well. There was a little controversy in all divisions, at least all the major ones. I didn't follow women's figure or women's bikini or whatever. I don't follow those divisions, but the major ones, Classic, Tutuvel and Open, were controversial. Classic physique was won by Keon Pearson, but in the end it was him versus Alex Cambronero. Many had Alex in front of Keon, simply because he was more muscular. He was, you can take a look at it, he was. He was harder as well, he most certainly was, but Keon had narrow, super, super narrow waist. I'm not saying that Alex was blocky, not by a long shot, he was not, he was very, very aesthetic, but the classic lines of Keon were supreme. They were better than those of Alex. If any category should focus on that new judging criteria, that must be classic physique. I really hated seeing George Peterson winning Arnold Classic instead of Steve Lorius because of the classic lines. 
And this is what happened to the newer Pro, apparently. This is obvious. This is super, super obvious. Alex was harder. He was also very symmetrical. His neck wasn't right there, so he had some kind of an accident, so he had to tilt his head a little bit on one side. So that probably hurt him a little bit. But overall, his physique was harder. He was more conditioned. He was more polished. He was more shiny, so he probably had a bit more oil or better tan, I don't know. But he was definitely more conditioned, harder, simply harder. And Kion won. Alex apparently didn't like this, and from what I can hear from everybody, he was backstage smashing things, he was yelling, he wasn't happy with his placing. He was pissed off. Really, like, really pissed off. But it is what it is. Kion won, and in my opinion, deservedly so. He wasn't more conditioned, he wasn't harder than Alex, but those classic lines were just perfection. That was what classic physique is supposed to be. Yeah, Kion should work on his chest a little bit more. His chest is very shallow and it is his weakest point, if you ask me. Alex's chest was much better, much fuller. And I also don't like Kion's abs, they are too separated in the middle. But that's a genetic thing, he cannot fix that ever. Although he can hide that with vacuum. And with his insanely large rib cage, his vacuum is looking perfect. It's an insane vacuum. One of the best vacuums in classic physique. So in my opinion, he deserved to win. Because of the lines. Because of the structure. Classical structure. So that's about it. And now we come to open division. And here we have some controversy as well. Nobody is doubting that Juan didn't deserve to win. He absolutely did. He improved a lot, his legs were fuller than ever before. This was his best combination of fullness and conditioning, if you ask me. Sure, he was better conditioned at Arnold Classic South America, especially from the back, but he wasn't as full, he was much smaller, significantly smaller, and if he appeared the same as he was in Arnold at New York Pro, maybe he wouldn't win. But with his fullness, he was more conditioned than everybody else still, and he was fuller, so that's why he won. Let's just skip that subject, let's not even talk about it. Juan absolutely deserved to win the show. What I didn't like at the show was that Akim placed second. I would give him at least third spot, maybe even out of top five, guys. Maybe even sixth place. Yeah, he was humongous, he is huge. That's his thing, that's what he's known for, he is really, really big. But he was watery, he was off, 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 he was so, so bloated, I mean, blurry, blurry, it looks like fat, it looks, I know it's not fat, but it looks like fat, I just didn't like what I saw from Akim, and I definitely don't think that he was better than Milan Sadek, or Shadek, how it's pronounced, yeah, he was bigger than him, but is that all? Look at Milan's conditioning. He was peeled to the freaking bone. The next place, the number four, was John De La Rosa. I don't like this decision either. But yeah, guess what? He's from New York. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's it. That's a good reason. He definitely didn't look conditioned. He wasn't conditioned. He was more conditioned than he was before, especially from the last year's New York Pro, where he looked completely, completely watery and still placed high. But this time around, there were guys who were more conditioned than him. And one of them, in my opinion, would definitely be Tim Budesheim. I pronounce his name right now, I believe. I believe that he was better than him. And maybe even better than Akim. Because of the conditioning. Yeah, because of the conditioning. There was a lot of controversy, a lot of suspicious decisions at this New York Pro. Boston Lloyd posted this on his Instagram account, and this is basically what he said. So he says, had a chance to really look at the comparison pictures today of the IABB New York Pro along cardio and that has to be the worst judging I have ever seen. There is only two ways this could happen. Judges were either too lazy to look at the full lineup and make the proper callouts, or major political BS. Seems like they already had top 5 picked from the beginning. And I'm talking about both open to 12. There were some black dudes in the third callouts, that should have been top 6. As a fan of bodybuilding, this makes me cringe. And there was this comment, the top comment that stood out. Head judge was Tyler Mannion, 25-year-old grandson of Gene Mannion. 
and new vice president of the IBB. This is true, this is a fact. And another comment below says, all I hear are stories of him playing with his phone on the judge's table and not paying attention. So what about these guys? Do you believe in this? If this is true, and I believe it is, there is another thing why these guys took the top spots. Some of them are from New York, some of them are just established names, and if they win, if they, not win, but if they place high, they can post about it on their Instagram accounts and they will promote the sport more rather than some guys who have 2,000 followers on Instagram. So you get the idea. And in my opinion, a lot of judging wasn't on point. So there are a couple of options, a couple of choices why all this happened. One would be the shift in judging criteria, which is fairly possible. And the other one would be the fact that the judges don't really care that they already had picked their winners. And this Jim Mannion's grandson, who became the vice president of the IFBB, was a head judge with no experience, without ever being a professional bodybuilder in his life. This is just wrong. This is just completely off. I really don't like what happened to this New York Pro, and I think somebody needs to speak about it. A lot of people did, and so am I right now. And I want to hear your opinion on this, guys, even more so. So tell me in the comment section below, what is the real reason behind all these controversial placings? And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.